turns out that that was the wrong way. It's actually this way. So Amy, I'm doing this for Amy, but I'm also because I'm feeling like an adventure. This is the way this place looks uh, during the day. So I think it's over, ah, okay, it's over in that building over there where I'm pointing to because the train's right over here and I'm over here. That's kind of restless today. I really couldn't quite get into anything. So I figured might as well take a trip over and take a look at this place once and for all to see just what what it looks like. But I think it's that building over there. That's what it is. Okay, we'll, we'll take a look. I think you got to account for people that actually are going to deliberately mis misdirect. Because that lady that was on the train station, right in front of the train station, she knew I needed to go down this way. She told me to go to around the corner the other way. So I got to feel this is kind of where it's at. So it's 49. So let's just see what what we've got. And this is actually it's right over here, Bogart and Granton, the archive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is it. So, this is it. Okay, let's go take a look. I just wanted to come by and and. Uh, at, at film a little bit. I, I was meaning to get over here earlier, yeah. but um, figured I would film it, maybe put it up on the internet. You know. Okay. You know, thanks. Who's the show up right now? Post the taste. Okay. Well, you're the gallery dealer? I am the gallery director. Okay, cool. Andrew, What's your name? Andrew, Andrew nice Marshall. Cool, okay. Cool. So the All show that's up right now is called Poets of the Paste. Okay. And it's for uh, street artists who do a lot of lino and wood block cutting yeah and pull prints off it okay and then paste them in the street i guess okay and, and this is like them kind of going beyond that and doing gallery work and like showing paintings and lino cuts and drawings and what they can do in a gallery setting as fine artists you okay. know beyond the work they do as like movie street artists so sounds cool, cool. Uh, i'm gonna go and take a look all right Thanks. all right well see i'm over here this is pretty cool actually a nice space Uh, wow, some pretty interesting stuff. This kind of reminds me of something I could do, but I, I probably wouldn't. Wow. Yeah. One has to really be, uh, put your soul out on it. Out in the world to be an artist, not an easy thing to do. Good space though. It smells like fresh paint. And uh, wow, yeah, it's kind of cool. I mean, it's kind of a cool painting. So I guess the lady's. Uh, who is that? She looks familiar, and she's holding a scorpion. I wonder who that is. It's almost like I could swear I've met this person, but I don't think I have. Well, it's cool. And that, that's pretty cool, too. Oh, I like that. That is cool. Wow. Street art. Makes you wonder. Where's old going? Wow. From here, but I think she's from the East Coast. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, she's from I think that was a Pennsylvania or something. Oh, cool. Yeah. So I think it'll be. I don't think she's been here though for a long time. She's shown more on the West Coast, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I'm excited about bringing artists like like Amy to yeah. the East Coast. And I think um, I've been hoping as a, as an art writer and artist to myself, and yeah. I was hoping that she would come here already and oh, cool. and, and, and show here because I've, all the shows I've been hearing have been like. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Santa Monica, and it seems so like dry. I mean, it's so like crisp bread. I don't, I, I, I don't know, I just feel well, like it's... She's in Brooklyn now. Yeah, she's in Brooklyn <laughs> she now. That'll be very interesting to see. Yeah. Well, I think a, she's wondering herself exactly how There's a real be. scene developing out here. Um, yeah. Uh, and fan base and whatever you want to call it for 
the kind of work that she does and yeah. other artists like her do because of at galleries like Jonathan Levine Gallery, Joshua Liner Gallery, right. um, hopefully Ad Hoc Art, you know, and, yeah. and uh, I mean, we're not, we don't have that massive, like thousands of them, like in the West Coast, showing yeah. this kind of work, but yeah. I mean, I think the three of us are doing a pretty good job. And, oh, yeah, the, and, uh, the, the two other galleries you mentioned. and I mean, they're like doing really amazing stuff in Chelsea, you know, right. and we're trying to make it happen out here in Brooklyn. We're showing similar work. I mean, they're kind of on a little bit, maybe some people might see them on a little bit more upper level than what we're doing, but right. I mean, you know, however it works out, it's like, I'm just uh, glad to be a part of it and uh, I'm glad that I can give artists like Amy that. Yeah, yeah. I was going to see, do you expect it to be a packed house that uh, day? I mean... We have a, a real community vibe with the gallery. We try to, you know. Right. Um, so we have a really great support from the yeah. local community. They're really glad to have this gallery in their community. Right. So we always have great opening parties, opening receptions. We always have DJs, and we have like nice after parties at the bar and everything. You do? Where's the bar? That the bar like... is like right up the street. You take a right, and it's right there. Oh, okay. Go walk around here a little bit. I I don't usually come over to this part. I've been over to right. Williamsburg a lot, but not not over to this part. I'm as much. I don't come over this part that right. that often, but come over to Williamsburg. God, this thing doesn't shut off, does it? Let me come over here, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, take care, Andrew. Right, take care. Ciao. I'm be, I'm, I might check out this first. Yeah. So over here, this is the archive. What the hell is this? What is it, man? Gotta almost have to take a picture of this. Let's see. Last block. Hey, oh, this is, what is this place? Hey, Phil. Is that a restaurant? Hey, Roberta's. You know, what I have to say about this area is it looks more barmed out than it really is, but this is not a place I would want to, let's say, be by myself at night at. Not because of anything would happen to me. Probably nothing would happen to me. It's just kind of spooky being here um at all i mean i've i've been around to the third ward i think is around here and it's like amazing how lots parts of brooklyn like this are are coming up but it's also kind of depressing in a way to to consider you know that this is really just a warehouse district that nobody has really spent some serious money to fix up and you know you can see the projects up there and god knows i wouldn't want to live there and it just seems like kind of forsaken and yet you'll find like all this interesting art and stuff like that in you know in there but it's just not some place i would want to hang out like look at all the glass on the floor it's just like like an urban ghetto but it's not really a ghetto it's more like industrial and and not habitable for people so I'm not sure where this bar is but it's definitely I'm not sure where it is but it sounds like it's a bar around here so I'm gonna stop the film Amy and whoever is looking at this on the internet and say that it's been interesting coming here um, definitely a cool place to hang out if you have things to be here for. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> okay. And since I've been looking at my films lately, and once I film, I hold my arm the camera out towards me. I always like to make a comment. And the comment I would make about this place is that I think it's worth coming to this opening, and I think it's going to be a rocking opening on July 25th here at what is it, Ex Exit Op Art or Op Exit Art or whatever, but it's an interesting place, but I, I think there's a renaissance in Brooklyn going on, and so the jury's out about all of this. Uh, my feeling is there's a lot of good art that I saw today, um, but this isn't a place that's easy for me to want to come to, so the ability to drive people here, it's interesting. We'll see. We'll see what happens, okay? So here it is.